That is what we're working with. That's our fish trap. Oh my God, there it is. Here we go. <laughs> now you're probably wondering what we're gonna do with them. We're gonna eat them. Nation. Welcome back to another awesome video, guys. Today we're here at Pond X. Check it out. If you guys don't know what Pond X is, basically it's one of my ponds completely enclosed and we've been stuck in this thing for years now, probably like four or five years. We've put everything from clown knife fish in here, peacock bass, regular bass, viejas, Oscars, and recently our Oscars and bass have bred. So we got baby Oscars in here and baby bass, but there's a fish in here that we don't want in here, and that is called a snakehead. Now, about five years ago, very long time ago, snakeheads were introduced into this pond from a giant flood during a hurricane. We came back from evacuation, and the whole street was completely flooded. I'm talking like water this deep. And I guess in one of the canals, the snakeheads got out, and they came in here, and there was two in here, and they started breathing. We saw their babies. Their babies were freaking everywhere. And oh my God, is that one right there? That looked like one. I don't know if that was one or not, but there's a lot of snakeheads in here now. A bunch of the babies survived, you know. A lot of my bass ate them. There was like thousands of babies and only about 10 survived, I would say. And I really want to get them out because like I said, we got baby Oscars in here. We got baby bass. I want to protect them. I don't want these snakeheads eating them. And dude, I don't know how to explain this to you guys, but I've been trying to make this video for months now. Me and Brandon have been coming here every single weekend trying to catch these snakeheads with a rod, cast net, and they're way too smart in here. I don't know how they're so smart. They just won't bite. We just can't catch them. And it's so infuriating. And I was like, you know what? I'm done. My last resort is a fish trap. Look at this thing. This is a raccoon trap, rodent trap, whatever you want to call it. And I saw this in my garage. I was like, this is it. This is how we're going to catch these snakeheads. Um, now, I'm not even sure how it works. I probably should have figured that out before I, we made this video. Ow! Something like that. How does it? Oh, look at that. Oh, there we go. Dude, this is going to work. Oh my gosh. These snake heads are freaking screwed. This has to work, guys. If this doesn't work, I'll freaking noodle them out myself, dude. I have to get rid of them. These snake heads, I'm so mad at them. I'm telling you guys, every single weekend we've been trying to catch them. And they just sit there. They just sit there looking at you. They don't bite. They're way too smart. They know we're trying to get rid of them. So yeah, earlier I went to a canal and I cast netted some bait, rolled a clip. I don't think I got any. Come on, guys. I'm just using you for bait. I'm telling you, it's for a good cause. Ow. Ow, I hit my hand. All the way hit my freaking hand. Oh. Oh, and I still didn't get him. Ugh. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. My bad. We did it. Yes. Oh, perfect. I meant to do that. Ugh. Oh, yeah. We got to throw the bluegills back. But these guys, oh, they are the perfect bait. What is that? Oh, Jesus. You scared me. I had no idea we caught a playco. Uh. Okay, this thing's starting to rip my nuts. Stop it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, he almost got away. They were like, okay, playco, you distract him and I'll get away. Come here, you. You're going in the bucket. That biker just rode past me. He was like, what the heck is that thing? And I told him it was a nurse shark. All right, later, nurse shark. Bye. All right, so this is what we're working at. We've got a, a dead mine and a dead tilapia in here. We're going to chuck these things into the trap. Bree was completely disgusted by that. <laughs> We're going to throw them in here. Now, how this works, if you guys don't know, basically, I don't know if it'll work in water. I I'm hoping it does. If not, then we're screwed. Once it hits this little pad right here, boom, he is freaking toast, dude. Oh my gosh, this is gonna work. Let's bait up our trap. Goes like that. All right, this is disgusting. Oh. I think we should be good to go. There we go. And now we're gonna set that trap like this, dude. I've never seen someone use a rodent trap like this to catch fish. This is gonna be insane. There we go, guys. That is what we're working with. That's our fish trap. This is gonna be sick if this works. I always see them in this corner. You see this right here? This is like the only corner with structure in the pond. All these palm prongs, they like sitting up by them. And also the baby ostriches like sitting there too. And they've been eating the baby ostriches. I've witnessed it myself. I've had it up to here. That's so high. So, no, I'm telling you right there, that's where it's at right now. Okay. Oh, see, it just set off. I gotta, I think I should place it and then set it. That's what I'm thinking. There we go. We've done it. Oh, it's very sensitive. I cannot touch it. Easy. Easy now. Yes! 
Dude, look how muddy that looks. That has got to get them. Oh my God, Bree, Bree, Bree. You see that? You see them bubbles? Uh -huh. Look at those bubbles. Oh my God, he's booking it. He's freaking booking it. That's a snakehead. He was right next to the trap. Oh wait, is that one? There's bubbles right there too. Okay, you know what guys? Let's walk around the pond real quick. Because if there are any snakeheads along the bank, which they probably are, I want to scare them out. I want to get them on the move so that they go over to our trap. Oh my God, Viejas. <gasps> Dude, breeding pair of Viejas. There goes a the snakehead. That was a snakehead right there. There goes another one. That was two snakeheads right there. They're probably breeding as well. <gasps> Look at the size of that snakehead. That snakehead was like 12 pounds, dude. What was that? That was another vieja. Baby viejas. Baby viejas. Baby viejas. Oh my gosh. There's like a thousand baby viejas. We did it. Success. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say, you guys. I don't even know what to say. We got baby Oscars, baby bass, and baby viejas. Well, we just spotted a snakehead. He was right out here, actually pretty close to our trap. And then two viejas. Oh my God, there it is. Look at that. That was a different one too. That was a different colored one. So that's two we just saw. Giant ones right here. Bree. I see it. Yeah. Bree. Those are my babies. Your babies? Those are my babies. Hi, babies. Hi, babies. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. Wow, we're just having so many cool sightings at Pond X. I just saw like six Oscars. Okay, you guys, check it out. This is what we're working with right now. As you can tell, the cichlid and the tilapia, they're right there. Here we go, dude. I'm super proud of this. I didn't even make it. This is just, it came like this. This is a fish trap. This is no longer a rodent trap. This is a fish trap now. This is literally made for fish. So yeah, guys, we're gonna give this trap like three, four hours. They're gonna swim in, they're gonna set off the trap, and they're gonna get stuck in there, guys. We'll see you in a few hours. What do you want? What's up, BFP Nation? Guys, we're here. We're gonna take a little peek at this trap. And if it's closed, if it's set, that means two things. Either the water pushed it down and we caught nothing and it didn't work, or a fish swam in. And I'm hoping it's a snakehead. Oh my God. Is that closed? I think so. That's closed. Okay, well, let's not celebrate yet. That could mean that it just closed from the water or something like hit it or something. A turtle could have hit it because there are a crap ton of turtles in here. It's closed though. Hold on, let me see. Let me get my bifocals on. I don't see anything. It's like one of the freaking fish floated out too. I don't think any. I mean, there's nothing in it. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna freaking cry, Bree. Did you see that? Totally. Did you see that? Did you freaking? Did you see that? We got him. We freaking got you, you sucker. Yes. Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. We got you, you sucker! Can you do another cart? We all missed it. Ah! <laughs> Guys, you have no idea what I went through to catch one of these things from here. Oh my gosh. Take that. I outsmarted you today, didn't I? You stupid fish. Okay, let's get him out. Okay, I gotta be... What the heck is wrong with his tail? Bree, come here. That's a freaking giant snakehead, by the way. That is a giant snakehead. Look at his tail. It's like deformed. He's actually really pretty. He's got blue on him. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me get him out. Oh, how does this thing work? I don't know. Okay. I don't want him to flop back into the water, so let's do it up here. That'd be hilarious. Oh my God. Look at that freaking snake. <laughs> Look at him. Look, he's deformed. Oh my God, it's freaking deformed, Bree. You see that? Look at its tail. Bree has no idea what a regular snakehead looks like, but that is not what they look like. Look at that blue on them, too. Not a lot of snakeheads have blue on them around here. It's actually really, it's a, it's a cool fish. Very deformed. I don't know how. Maybe that turtle. You saw that turtle? Yeah. Probably when he was younger, a turtle bit him or something like that. That's gnarly, dude. Look at that. I've never seen anything like that. Ew, and his eye. Look at his eye. It's got a freaking red, cloudy eye. This thing's disgusting. Guys. Guys, guys, guys. We did it. Now you're probably wondering what we're gonna do with them. We're gonna eat them, so. No, we're not. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> no, we're not. Okay, I'm not eating them. My friend Christian is, cause he's into eating snakeheads now. He's... Are you joking? No, he says they taste really good. Guys, comment down below. Snakeheads actually taste really good. So, if you, if you wanna, 
<laughs> if you want to see a snakehead catching cook in the future, do this guy. You're is... joking. No, I'm dead serious. They taste really good. They're like really ugly, but they taste really good. Oh my god. Don't put a <laughs> Christian's gonna eat him and he's gonna Christian's let me know. Christian's a freak. He's gonna let me know how he tastes. Dude, I am so happy that this thing is out of my pond. It sucks though because like they could be pretty. I mean, not really. He is, he is really ugly. He is deformed. He's got a lot going for him, guys. But we got him. I'm just so happy this thing freaking worked. Can you believe that? Wow. I didn't see him at first. I thought we caught nothing. I was, I was about ready to <laughs> But yeah, guys, I'm going to give this thing to Christian. We're going to come back. I mean, the thing, the bad thing about this trap is you can only catch one at a time because once one goes in, sets off the trap, nothing can go in or out. So yeah, guys, if you want to see a part two, maybe we buy like five of these things and throw five in at a time. If you want us to come back and do that, let me know, leave a like, let me know if you want to see that. Look at it, it's like a nub for a tail. He's got a nub, he's got a straight nub. Come on, buddy, you're coming with me. Let's go, let's go, Bree, let's head home. Ah! All right, guys, we're back at my house. Little update on everything going on at the ponds. As you could tell, we got a new pump. The pump just came in yesterday. We got it going, we got it running, we got air. The fish are doing magnificent. Look at everyone. The pond is freaking crystal clear. Oh my gosh, look down there. See that little baby Playco? We must have just put him in here. Dude, I've lost track at what I put in my ponds. I just, I'm always putting stuff in, in all my ponds. I didn't even realize I put a baby Playco in here, but I guess I did. There he is down there. There's a gold gourami right there. Oh, there's two of them. There's my baby. How you doing, Bruce? There's Desi and Lucy, the parrot cichlids. They love being pet. <laughs> There's one of the sword tails down there we caught in Miami. Uh, what else we got? There's that big Dalmatian molly that we caught. There's, oh, there's one of the tetras, the black skirt tetra we caught. Now, all the really cool stuff that we've caught, like the little tiny uh, tetras, they usually hang out by the lily pads. So let's see if we can see them. All right, guys, check it out. Here's the cichlid pond. We got the light shining in. Let's get them over here. Look at them. They follow me. <laughs> They're already following me. Look at that. Look at those colors pop in the sun, dude. Oh my gosh. It is so cool. Come here, guys. Come on. Here they all come. <laughs> dude, some of them are getting massive. Look at the Victorian right there. Very pretty. Look at those reds and oranges, yellows, blues. They are getting gorgeous, dude. Look at the blues. Look at those blues. The oranges. Everyone is doing so good in here. Look at this. Look at that. It's amazing. Wow. I'm going to get the second filtration system, the giant one set up soon. So this, this pond should be like insanely crystal clear, like, like way more filtration than I will ever need will be set up soon. Now let's check on our new peacock bass that we just caught in my last video. Where is he at? There he is. Beautiful. He's doing amazing. Look at him. Oh, he's doing so good. Good. We got Brandy here. What's up, baby? Oh my gosh. We got Bane. We got Wayne. And I'm going to pick out a name soon for the peacock bass. I'm going to go look in the comments and maybe in my next video, I'll have a name picked out. There's the school Paku. Look at him. Oh, 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 you can see him a little bit there. <laughs> Oops, guys, editing this right now. I realized I didn't film an intro. So lots of good Pond X action. Lots of cool underwater shots of the cichlid pond. If you did enjoy, go down there, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.